Blessing and Miracle Fest Featuring salvation, healing, deliverance, miracles and supernatural encounters Date is Wednesday 13th to Thursday 14th of December 2023 5.30pm daily Friday 15th Blessing and Miracle Night 9.30pm till dawn Sunday 17th Thanksgiving service 8am prompt Venue Life Gate Power Ministries Dominion Cathedral 90 Stadium Road Ruomasi GRA Phase 4 Port Harcourt Ministering Pastor Sunny Cookie In partnership with the Holy Spirit and The order of divine favor I command that challenge The sickness and disease of long continuum Be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ I command the natural causes Be broken in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ will heal all the sick and afflicted and meet your needs. Please don't come alone. Come with someone. For inquiries, call 070-638-13013-070-351-82285. Wisdom for entering the worldly place. Psalm 66, beginning from verse 10. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Verse 11. Thou brought us into the net. Thou laid affliction upon our loins. Verse 12. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou brought us us out into a wealthy place. In Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 5, New King James Version, then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. Can I hear your loudest amen? The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. What is the meaning of the wealthy place? It is a place of abundant prosperity. The wealthy place is a place of abundant prosperity. It is a spacious place of freedom and rest. A place where you enter into your rest, all round rest. Where you have seen the hand of God, the blessing of God working in your life. Number three, it is the place of overflowing financial and material abundance. That's the wealthy place. A place of overflowing financial and material abundance. Abundance, a place of abundant riches and prosperity. Number four, what is the meaning of the wealthy place? It is a land where we eat bread without scarcity. Can I hear your loudest amen? That means no matter the economy of the nation, the city you are dwelling or you are residing, is irrelevant. There is a, a superior economy that supersedes itself on your affairs. It is a land where we eat bread without scarcity. It's a place where we lack nothing. Where you lack nothing. Where I lack nothing. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 9. New King James Version. A land in which you will eat bread without scarcity. Shout amen for that. No matter how much bread costs, no matter how much food stuff is costing in your village, in your city, in your nation, when God allows you to enter your wealthy place, Rest has come financially. He says it's a land where you eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing. Shout amen there. 
in which you, in case you didn't catch it the first one, where you eat bread without scarcity, you won't miss this one. A land where you lack nothing. A land where you lack nothing. A land whose stones are iron and out of whose hills you can dig copper. Glory to God. As I was meditating and preparing this message, one of the night, God took me in revelation in the dream of the night to the wealthy place. You need to have seen what I saw. I said, is that the place? Glory to God. Hallelujah. So it signifies that you and I have entered that place. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? This church has entered a wealthy place. Amen. If you believe it, it's taking place in your life now. Amen. I believe it. Say, I believe. I've entered the wealthy place. I believe. Life Gate Prime Ministries and genuine members and all connected to us have entered the wealthy place. God wants to bring us into his worldly place. He wants to bring you, he wants to bring me into his worldly place. Now, let's look at the wisdom keys that can give you and I access to the worldly place. When you look at the promises of the Bible, don't just claim it. Look at the condition attached to getting there. Until you meet the condition, God is not committed. When you meet conditions attached to any promise or attached to promises in the Bible, that promise or promises are converted to covenants. So that's why we hear God is a covenant keeping God. When you meet the condition of the promise, hello, it is converted to covenant. God now is committed. Is that clear? For instance, in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1, beginning, he said, now, it shall come to pass if you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. So you can't just jump and claim, Father, you say you will set me on high above all nations of the earth. The first thing you should consider, have you met the condition? If you will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you on high. And then verse 2, he starts listing what he's going to do. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. That's the worthy place. Because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Did you see that? And verse 3. Blessed shall you be in the city. And blessed shall you be in the country. Did you see that? Verse 4. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. The produce, the produce of your ground. And the increase of your heads the increase of your cattle and the offerings of your flocks. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. That means as you are going out from tomorrow, blessed shall you be. As you are coming in, you are coming with loads of blessing. All by doing one thing. Of obeying the voice of his commandment 
and observing to do all he said he should do. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Verse 7. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. What? By doing verse 1. You commit him to do all this. They shall come out against you one way and they shall flee before you seven ways. Verse 8. The Lord will command the blessing on you. He will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Wow. All this. Verse 9. The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself just as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. Praise God. So all you need to do is to find out your own rule. Play the role, your own uh, deal, your own part of the deal and carry it out and God will be committed. Verse 10. He will be committed. Then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. That's the wealthy place. If you move, it's in the middle of verse 13. Attend Blessing and Miracle Fest featuring salvation, healing, deliverance, miracles, and supernatural encounters. Date is Wednesday 13th to Thursday 14th of December 2023, 5.30 p.m. daily. Friday 15th, Blessing and Miracle Night, 9.30 p.m. till dawn. Sunday 17th, Thanksgiving Service, 8 a.m. prompt. Venue, Life Gate Power Ministries, Dominion Cathedral, 90 Stadium Road, Ruomasi, GRA Phase 4, Port Harcourt. Ministering Pastor Sunny Cookie in partnership with the Holy Spirit. By the order of divine favor, I command that challenge, the sickness and disease of long continuum be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the natural causes to be broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ will heal all the sick and afflicted and meet your needs. Please don't come alone. Come with someone. For inquiries, call 070-638-13013, 070-351-82285. What are the wisdom keys to entering this wealthy place? A place of overflowing financial abundance. Don't pretend money is not important is hypocrisy the bible says money answered all things yes wisdom is superior to money but you need money to send children to school you need money to send other children to school other people's children you need money to be a blessing is that is that understood you need money. Don't pretend. You need money. So find out how to get this money and use it to be a blessing to your world. And then make heaven and keep enjoying your life. You enjoy life here like Abraham. You go to heaven, you enjoy it. What wisdom keys do I need to enter the wealthy place? Remember, wisdom is the right way of doing things. Wisdom is the right application of knowledge. Wisdom is applying the word of God. Wisdom is doing the ways of God and going there. Number one, love and embrace wisdom. You want to be wealthy. You want to enter the wealthy place. Irrespective of where you are now. Irrespective of the mockery of people. Irrespective of your location. You want to change levels. This is the first thing you do. Love God. Love wisdom. And embrace it. Loving wisdom is loving God. 
is the God of wisdom. Love God. Love wisdom. Embrace wisdom. Run after wisdom. Pursue after wisdom. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 21. New King James Version. That I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. That I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. That I may fill their treasuries. You can't embrace love and embrace wisdom and remain on the same, in the same spot financially. It's impossible. The reason is because God's word says in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 and verse 16, happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man who gains understanding. Verse 16. Length of days will be in the right hand of that person because he possesses wisdom. And in her left hand, that's wisdom, riches and honor. So, Loving wisdom, loving God and his wisdom, embracing wisdom is the right approach to enviable blessing and entering the wealthy place. That's how to enter the wealthy place. Number two, wisdom key to entering the wealthy place. Kingdom priority lifestyle. Kingdom Priority lifestyle. Putting God first and the interest of his kingdom in your life. Not putting God second, third, or fourth. Putting God first. Seeking, the, seeking first the kingdom of God and his advancement, his increase, his growth leads to a world of supernatural abundance and wealth. Now, let's look at Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25 to 33. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? The life I've given you, is it not better than raiment and what to eat? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. That means birds, animals, you see, God feeds them. God is committed to feeding them. If he will still maintain his ecosystem, he has to feed them. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. And ye are ye not much better than they? Listen carefully. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment, that means clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. Verse 29. And yet, I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. This is awesome. The beauty of Solomon cannot be compared to the decoration. I give my flowers, lilies. Verse 30. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or where with us shall we be clothed? Take no thought. In other words, don't be worried. It doesn't mean you will not, you know, you will not think about me. What he's talking about here is anxiety, worries. For, for after all these things do the Gentiles 
those who don't know God, unbelievers, seek. They seek after all this, they're running after them. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. Your heavenly Father knows that you have need of good clothing, housing, you know, money. It could be frustrating when you need something and money is not there. Very frustrating. So you should learn how you can attract wealth and riches to yourself. For all the, after all these things, do the Gentiles seek pagans? For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But there's something I want you to do. When you do it, you will commit me, the Creator, who doesn't fail. You don't put your you don't worry, oh family wahala, all these things on my head. No, it's not on your head. Offload it to God. Offload it to God. Verse 33 right now. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. My mentor Bishop will say, and his advancement. How the kingdom of God will advance. How the kingdom of God will increase. So we need inviting people to church, following up people. As a cell leader, you're working tirelessly, pursuing after God's interest. And all these things, houses, wealth, riches, shall be added unto you. So don't seek after what is supposed to be added. Seek him that have the power to add those things. Glory to God. Are you honest what I'm saying? He will be meeting your needs. But when you now focus on those needs, worrying, anxious, you miss it. So, kingdom priority lifestyle is the key to commanding and attracting wealth and riches. Kingdom priority lifestyle is the key for entering the key to entering the worthy place. Kingdom priority lifestyle. How will God's house, how will the church grow? You pray. You engage in kingdom advancement prayer. In your closet. In your family devotion. Let's pray for the growth of the church. Let's pray for the establishment of the new convert. Let's pray for things to move. In your closet, you're praying. And then every opportunity you have, you're sharing the handbills, you're advancing the kingdom of God, then God say, I am committed to taking care of your needs. I am committed to seeing that you are not embarrassed. You are not put to shame. Glory to God. Is somebody understand what I'm saying? If I stop here, I think, I think it should be enough. If you just catch this, this is my, one of my secrets in life. Pursuing after his things. Pursuing after the advancement of his kingdom. Not, when I, not because I'm a pastor. From my, my youth. In school. As an undergraduate, I started. Not here. All the evangelistic movement, all the, you know, from school to school, village to village, until you service, I almost lost my life. But God hasn't failed once. Praise God. Are you understand what I'm saying? Bringing me out of the merry clay and set my foot on the rock and establish my going. Glory to God. Kingdom priority lifestyle is the key. Pursue after soul winning. Bringing people to church and seeing them established. Look at John chapter 4 verse 35 and 36. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then come in harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. 
and he that reaped received wages. He that reaped received wages. God pays soul winners. He that reaped received wages and gathered fruit unto life eternal. That both he that sow it and he that reap it may rejoice together. Praise God. You don't run after wealth. God has designed wealth to run after us as we apply the law of wisdom. You don't run after wealth. God has designed wealth to run after us as we apply the law of wisdom. Number three, key, wisdom key to entering the wealthy place. Change your mindset. Change your mindset. After loving God and wisdom, kingdom priority lifestyle, you are winning souls, you establish, make seeing souls established, you are advancing the kingdom of God, you may not enter the wealthy place if your mindset is not changed. What is the mindset? It's the attitude of your mind. Look at it. There are two compound words there. Mind set. What does your mind set on? What is your mind focusing on? If your mind is focusing on poverty, either because of your background, if your mind is focusing on, let me just barely make it in life, it will not attract wealth. Wealth will be running at all. Running from you. Entering the wealthy place Hear this begins with a mindset. Prosperity mindset. Wealthy mindset. Wealth is a choice. Write it. Wealth is a choice. Wealth is a choice. Therefore, entering the wealthy place is a choice. Proverbs 23 and verse 7a. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Hear me very attentively. You can never do better than your mindset. Hello. There's what is called, there's a device they put in a car to control speed. Companies do it. In order to control the speed that the driver employed can go. They put it, it's called governor. It's a device. They put it maybe 100 uh, kilometers per hour. So no matter how the driver press it, it can't go beyond that speed limit. It's called governor. The same way our mind works. If your mind has been set... If your mindset is poverty infested, lack. No, 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 no. We are, we are not since, since from a youth, you know, since from, since from my childhood, I've never seen our family go beyond this level. No, it's not for us. We are to depend on others. Blessing and Miracle Fest Featuring salvation, healing, deliverance, miracles and supernatural encounters Date is Wednesday 13th to Thursday 14th of December 2023 5.30pm daily Friday 15th Blessing and Miracle Night 9.30pm till dawn Sunday 17th Thanksgiving service 8am prompt Venue Life Gate Power Ministries Dominion Cathedral 90 Stadium Road Rumor Massey GRA Phase 4 Port Harcourt Ministering Pastor Sunny Cookie In partnership with the Holy Spirit By the order of divine favor I command that challenge The sickness and disease of long continue Be crushed in the name of Jesus Christ I command the natural causes Be broken in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ will heal all the sick and afflicted and meet your needs. Please don't come alone. Come with someone. For inquiries, call 070-638-13013, 070-351-82285.